that a uh, victory or second price auction has the uh, weekly dominant strategy for any player of bidding one's own valuation. So the proof is uh, we'll fix a specific player, player I, and um, for all the other players, we'll assume that B sub J is the maximum bid that any other player bids. So we'll look at the case where player I bids less than their valuation. So BI is the bid they play, and that's less than their valuation, which is V sub I. So we have a couple, we have three cases. So we have this first case where they're winning the auction whether they bid their valuation or whether they bid below their valuation, then player I is going to be indifferent between playing either of these or obviously anything in between um, because they're going to win and receive payoff V minus BJ. Um, you maybe say a little more if there's a tie here with uh, depending on what tie breaking rule you're using, but it'll still it'll still work out um, in the proof. So here they're indifferent. Um, if we have that they're losing, whether they play V sub I or B sub I, they're obviously indifferent because they're going to lose either way. They're going to get payoff zero. Now, in the case where they win if they play V sub I and they lose if they play B sub I, then they're always going to prefer playing V sub I because they're going to win they're going to pay B sub J, so they'll receive a positive payoff. So looking at these cases, um, this tells us that playing, uh, bidding your own valuation is always going to be at least as good as bidding something below it. Um, in two cases, you're indifferent between the two strategies, and in one case, it's better to play it. So that's just the definition of being a weakly dominant strategy. So if you have to do the full sort of proof, you would probably have to do basically the same thing with uh, the case where you bid above your valuation. And it's going to basically just be the same thing with flipping some inequalities. And you got to be careful with your tie-breaking rule, but it's still going to work out, assuming your tie-breaking rule is um, what it is in the book, which I think is just like a 50-50 chance. So that's the proof.